Hi, welcome to this drum lesson for Yellow by Coldplay. Okay, cool. So, um, this is again part of my beginners um, series aimed at beginners for songs that are pr pretty easy for, for when you're first starting out on the drums. Um, so, yeah. Let's let's just jump straight into this. Um, a really nice kind of tempo for beginners because it's it's not too fast. It's nice and laid back, so we can really sort of um, really sort of start to feel quite a nice groove in this song. It really it feels really nice playing along to it. Um, so yeah, straight in as I say. Um, again, we're doing an eighth note pattern on the hi hat. The first section, so we've got an intro, and then we've got this kind of riff section that's, um, I think, eight bars long. Yeah, eight bars long. We're open hi-hats straight away, um, and it's basically a two-bar phrase where we're crashing on the one beat of the bar every two bars. So if I just play it for you, and then we can break it down. So it's like this. Okay, right, so that pattern, as I say, crashing on the one every two bars. Um, we're, we're doing eighth notes on the hi-hat, open hats, back beats on two and four, as, as kind of usual. The, the bass drum pattern, nice and simple, kicks on beat one, and then kicks on beat three and three and. So it's one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. So yeah, that, that kind of pattern. And then, as I say, every two bars crashing on the cymbals. You can do two cymbals or you can do one cymbal. As I've said before, it's nice to sort of alternate between different cymbals you hit so it doesn't always sound like kind of the same thing happening over and over again. Um, but yeah, there's that pattern and it happens four times round, so eight bars in total for that section. Okay? Just play it one more time a bit slower. Here we go. Okay, great. Um, let's go ahead and just try that opening section with the track. Okay, here we go. Great, so I hope that, that section went well for you. Um, now we're going to look at the next section, which is the verse pattern. So now when we go into the verse, what we're doing is we're closing the hi-hats up. Not completely closed, they're still slightly open, but we're, we're sort of bringing the, it being from this big kind of riffy section um, to, to a bit more kind of closed down. So yeah, he's closing the, the hi-hat but keeping it very slightly open. Um, and the pattern is very similar, except now what we're doing is, instead of doing, uh, it's still a two bar phrase, but instead of doing a kick on one, and then three and three and, we're doing two kicks every time, so one and one and, three and three and. Okay, so it's very, it's, the kick pattern is very repetitive. Boom, boom, ga, yeah. boom, boom, ga. Yeah. Boom, boom, ga, yeah. boom, boom, ga. Yeah. Okay. So the only difference here is how he marks this kind of two-bar phrase. Is we're doing a hi hat. We're opening the hi hat on beat four and every two bars. So that's that's lifting the left foot off the hi hat pedal and and then coming down back on. So it's 
so it's then closed again. So it's only that one hit on forehand when we're just lifting the foot off the hi hat and opening it. So let me try. Let me show that groove. It goes like this. Cool, so now let's try that section with the track. Here we go. Great, so I hope that's good. Um, hope now, now you've kind of got a, a lot of the, the, the song now. There's just a couple of other little tiny bits. Um, yeah, one other little thing to notice is there's a, there's a little turning, little turnaround before the chorus, which is kind of a build, but it, it sort of builds in its own kind of way. Um, and it's just the same pattern as the verse but we're just opening the hats. No, no like open hat on forehand because the hat's already open for the whole bar. So it's literally that same pattern um, with the two kicks every time before we go into the chorus. I'll just play that little passing groove for you. That, that's, that'll sound like this. That's it, just two bars. So this is a build into the chorus. We'll, we'll go through the chorus beat now, and then we can try the whole track from the beginning up to the chorus. So yeah, again, there's an, this, this kind of repeating idea of two bar phrases in this song on the drums, um, that is. So yeah, in the chorus, what we're doing is um, we're onto the ride cymbal, and the bass drum pattern is now kicks on one, two and, and three and, okay? And that will sound like this, and we're crashing, like I was saying, every two bars on the one. So that will sound like this. Great. Okay, and another thing to note on the chorus is that the whole chorus is eight bars long, but on the drums we only play six bars. Okay, so the last two bars we just mute, we're, we're stopping, because it's, this, it's the kind of end of the chorus. Okay, and then the drums come back in after that, in a sort of reintro riff section. So let's try now the whole song from the beginning to the end of the chorus. Here we go.
great. So I hope that was good. Um, one tiny little bit now, um, the outro basically. Um, and again, very, very similar to, to the kind of riff section. So at the end of the, at the, end of the song, um, we've got the, the last chorus, then we've got the riff section, which is the same as, the, as at the beginning. We do that for eight bars. And then we go into this outro section, which is 12 bars long. Um, and we're doing, it's a very similar pattern. Um, again, a two bar phrase we're doing. We're, we're, same as the riff section, we have open hi-hats. And we're doing, we're doing two bars, crashing on the one, every two bars. Um, and the kick pattern is a kick drum on beat one of bar one, and then two kicks every time. So it's like, I'll play it for you, it sounds like this. Okay, so that's the outro, and that happens for 12 bars. Um, so let's go and try the whole song now. Here we go.
all the things that you do. Excellent. Right. So I hope that was was good for you. Um, thanks again for for watching, coming back and and seeing my videos. Um, another thing is obviously this is I do this from my my own studio at home. So if anyone is, I do a lot of recording for different artists and bands and all kinds of stuff. So if you're looking for an online session drummer, um, I do remote drum recording from this from my studio so yeah get in touch if, if that's if that's um, of interest for you um, yeah thanks again and see you in the next one cheers